Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of The Elder Scrolls Oblivion. I am so excited to be playing this today. I have been craving to so bad. I said this in the comments on another video and on Twitter. I'm currently trying to finish up some commissions. I only have one more. I'm working on it. I'm getting there. Because if you guys didn't know, I have been doing physical commissions for a little while and I'm sick of them. <laughs> I kind of want to start putting all of that time I spend on that into YouTube and streaming. So I'm finishing up the last one right now and then maybe it won't be three weeks in between every upload of a series. Because do I remember what we were doing last? We were doing the Fighters Guild. That's as far as I know. <laughs> I'll figure out whatever we were doing once we actually get in the game. <laughs> okay. Oh no. Oh no, I forgot. Ah! Hello. Not again! Ooh, what are you doing? Oh, it's weird. Oh, I don't like it. Okay, right. I don't know what he told us. I think I was too distracted by all of that. So, um, what did he tell us? Oh, God. Um, Any friend of Mars. Okay, you, you don't know. I, I assume he probably told us to go somewhere else. It's my pleasure. I think. I don't have anything. Yeah, okay. We need to go to Shaden Hall. Right Bye. then. All right, I'm just... I'm just gonna peace out if you could move, Maglier. Thank you. Let's leave. <laughs> Man, do I have that stupid ring on? Everything is green. No, no green. Ah, I see why I had it on. It's quite dark, okay. Thanks, EMB. To be fair, like, I always complain about the darkness. <laughs> but like, whenever it's not overly dark, it's, I, I don't know. It pees me. It's like, it's not as realistic at night. Is that stupid? It's probably stupid. But I just, I like the way it looks, okay? I like just running into walls constantly, apparently. I feel like every time I record Oblivion, I just talk about how happy I am to be recording Oblivion the whole time. But I really am. This is my favorite game. And I feel like it's a good, a good, don't sound so excited, man. <laughs> but I feel like it's a good game to start out, um, recording sessions with because it just it just puts me in a really good mood and generally if I'm in a good mood videos tend to turn out better I think maybe it just means I'm a little bit more annoying I'm unsure Hello. but it's fine I'm just having a good time did not mean to bring out my axe that's probably a little bit threatening okay uh where's orc man you're orc man for some reason I thought you were a woman that looked like a dress from the single it's just because I can't see. All right. Oh, I, I can level. I got another contract for you, Meat. I assume you won't embarrass yourself. Okay, uh, thanks, I guess. It's from Bianna Amelian at the Water's Edge Settlement. She needs something retrieved from her ancestral tomb. Try not to muck it up. I will do my best. Okay, can I sleep oh, in one of these? To that settlement, Meat. He's a weird little man. Okay, can I sleep here? I can. Okay, we might as well uh, sleep until daytime, but we can also level, so that's good. You have ascended to level 13. It's the most amazing thing. Yesterday, it was hard, and today it's easy. Just a good night's sleep, and yesterday's mysteries are today's masteries. Well, I'm glad you're feeling so good about everything, Corellian. Okay, we're gonna go with strength <laughs> speed, because we definitely need to be able to walk faster. And <laughs> let's let's do him a favor, put some into personality. <laughs> because he doesn't have much of one. Okay, there we go. Hello. May, may I help you? You look terrifying. All right, let's go. <laughs> Don't like all of their empty blank stares. They always just come up to you and it's just... Like, can I help you? Like, why are you looking at me? Freaking me out, man. Okay, where are we going? All right, nowhere nearby, apparently. What? what? All right, all the way near Leowin. There we go. Quite the the journey there. Figured it would be at least closer by Shaden Hall, but uh, that works. Okay, looks like she's probably... She's in here, but I can't get to her. Okay, uh, I'll wait an hour. I feel like this happens to me every time I do this quest. Like, I, I didn't remember the quest until now, but this feels... Very familiar. Uh, I could just run in there. Let me wait until like the morning. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, great. You know, well, I'm just gonna, gonna quick save and I'm gonna walk in. Like if she's gonna be a jerk and just 
Stay inside of her house. Hello. Okay. You must be from the she was getting mad at me, but it's fine. I'm glad you're here. I need your help to repay a debt. Okay, uh, tell me about your debt. I'm afraid so. My father had a bit of an issue with gambling. I'm afraid he built up a rather large debt. Now that he's gone, the debt is mine. That sucks. <laughs> Where is your father? Yeah, Corellian, as I said, doesn't have a personality. Sure. Gone. Dragged from our house in the night. To pay the debt, I'd like to sell the sword and armor I, of I my grandfather. I just figured he was dead. Okay. Or I might be next. It's pretty messed up, but, you know, I guess that's how it goes when you gamble. How much is the debt? A great deal over a thousand septims. My father was quite a gambler. Quite a bad gambler. Noticeably. Okay, uh, tell me about the sword and they armor. They were buried with my grandfather in the family tomb. The sword and cuirass were enchanted and should cover my debt. Please get them for me. All right. Oh god, I am not just paying for that debt. Corellian is not made of money and I'm trying to buy a house. Where's the sword and not armor? Not far in my family's ancestral tomb. Here, I, I can mark it on your map. Please return them to me so I can pay off my father's debts. How are you going to pay me for this? You better not cheat me out of any money here, okay? Alright, hopefully I don't have a bounty from that. I might, but, you know, what can you do, I guess? I wonder... Hello? Uh... Okay. Uh, Alright. Thanks. Thanks, game. Ah! Man, I had to make sure my computer's not, like, overheating and glitching out. I think it might just be Oblivion. <laughs> so I think it was last summer I was having some, uh, artifacting issues. It's because my computer kept overheating, so that was fun. Uh, also, <laughs> she's a boat. God, he's just, like, so still. This is artful. Wow. I was saying something. I forgot what. Excellent. Okay. Lady swims really slow. This was a horrible idea. <laughs> I regret everything. Still kind of far away, but... I don't know how she's even gonna pay us if she can't pay this, but... Maybe she will. Oh, hello, mud crab. I guess we should deal with you. Silly mud crab. Puny. Puny thing. Alright, here we are. The family tomb. Things are about to get spooky, I think. Speaking of spooky, oh my god. I uh, kind of wish I had recorded Nintendo's Direct for E3 because that was a good one. I mean, obviously we all know how excited I am for Animal Crossing. I think this is becoming a, a little bit of a lesser known fact now, but I didn't start YouTube on this channel. I had a little crappy Animal Crossing one for a while, but uh... How about that Breath of the Wild sequel, hmm? Kind of regret not uh, starting my Zelda playthroughs off with some Breath of the Wild. If I can get to the point where I am uploading, like, almost every day, then maybe I'll just throw Breath of the Wild in too. Why not? But I think whenever the new one comes out, I'll probably try to play it right away. It's probably legitimately going to scare me, and I'm not even exaggerating. <laughs> because zombies and mummies... Or not like the goofy type of mummies, you know, th the Ganondorf type of mummy. Uh, that's actually horrifying. One of my worst nightmares. I hated it a lot. Looks really cool though. Oh, cool, invisible mummy man. Oh, I forgot. But yeah, that's gonna be a dark one. I can tell, and I'm very excited. Cause I, I ugh, why, why do I even try? I used to be really good at that, but I have no patience for it anymore. But I enjoy a good, a good spook every now and then. I like creepy games, even though I'm a coward. <laughs> oh, what's that? Boots. I want the boots. I'm too tall for the boots. I say, I'm, I'm literally like probably five feet tall. Why can't I get over there to them? Please. Also, why is this coffin locked? I guess I can try to unlock it, but just gotta be patient with it. I don't know why it keeps going up. There. E excellent. Some gold and some pants. <gasps> Whoa. Okay, almost to the boots. No! Oh, now I'm just stuck. There we go. Alright, where do I need to go then? But maybe that's why I like games to be so dark. It's extra creepy. Thanks for that. Is that more- is that more armor? 
Oh, yeah, there's his gauntlets. I should have known that. <laughs> no, okay, I think I need to go put all of this somewhere. I don't know where. <laughs> because this isn't this isn't working out super well. I'm gonna put those down and we're gonna leave. <laughs> And I'm gonna go sort out my inventory just a little bit. Did we come from this way? I'm already lost. Yep, it looks like it. Okay, be right back. I really struggle a lot with, um, like, on the topic of Breath of the Wild and everything. Like, I struggle a lot with not really knowing what exactly I want to put on my channel and what I just want to play in my own time. Because I enjoy, like, all sorts of games. It's not just fantasy RPGs like this, though. This is my favorite type of game. Okay, so I think I was dropping some stuff here. I drop stuff here every now and then. That's just where I'm gonna put it all for now. Obviously, Legend of Zelda fits in with that theme. I don't think I would play Doom on here anyways, just because we know how YouTube likes to be about violent stuff. But every now and then people will ask like, oh, you should do like a video on like Mario Maker when it comes out or like Animal Crossing. I'm like, I do try to keep it generally fantasy-esque on here, but maybe those are sorts of things I could stream instead. I don't know. Y'all will have to remind me that I'm dropping all of my stuff here because it might make me sad later on when I can't remember where all my stuff went. Yeah, drop these freaking books. They're so heavy. That's part of the reason also I haven't really- oh, this is very heavy. I did not realize. I don't know if the other ones will work on ghosts though, which I obviously need for this dungeon. But yeah, I haven't really done any more Fallout or anything on this channel just because for a while I was like, oh, it should just be fantasy games. I don't know. It, it might just turn into games I like, we'll see. But I feel like at least adding in- I might need these, I might regret putting these here. But I feel like at least adding in Legend of Zelda makes sense because for one, you know, fantasy. It's a little bit more cartoony, I say, as I'm literally playing Oblivion. But it still fits the theme, you know? But also, um, with how, uh, we apparently aren't getting another Elder Scrolls game for a little while. Did not mean to turn Corellian there. Like, we have ESO updates. And like, we have stuff like Blades, which I do want to record more. I might wait till it comes out on the Switch though. I don't know. I'm rambling a lot this episode. I'm sorry. It's just because I haven't recorded in a while. So I'm like, I gotta catch you up on everything. But you know, it's also nice to have a game on here that will, you know, have new games every now and then. Hmm? Okay, I have the gloves now. I might try to go get the boots again. I don't know. I don't even think she wants this stuff. Maybe I won't worry about it. It's like, I want to play fantasy games on here, but I also want my channel to be somewhat relevant. <laughs> and not just play, you know, games like Daggerfall, as much as I love Daggerfall and I'm going to continue playing it. Oh, that's convenient. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like, people still find my channel through those games, but... It's not as new and whatnot. That, I'm just excited to play the new ones anyway. <laughs> if that makes sense anyways. This is gross. I hate zombies. Thanks for dying. I just feel like we're lacking a lot lately in the, the fantasy games department, you know? A lot of you are wanting me to play Kingdom Come Deliverance. I also want to play that. We shall see. Going to be a little bit broke for a little while, I think. But it's also the problem of, um, <laughs> I have so many series going right now and not enough time to record all of them, though. Hopefully that will be different soon. Because I really enjoy doing YouTube and would rather focus on it than making art for other people. That kind of gets old after a little while. At least for me it did. Okay, here's armor, there's the sword. Being attacked! Hello! That's not gonna... Oh god. Yeah, yeah, that's not going to affect you. Let's get our very heavy sword. Come on. There we go. Oh, oh don't drain my endurance. No. Oh, my strength! I really hope that's gonna go away. I don't know if that just damaged it permanently or not. Um, I think it may have... I don't know, I'm gonna wait and see. Okay, no, we're good. Praise Azura. Ooh, fancy ring. Okay, okay. I do need to sell some stuff, I think. That would also help in the getting a house fund. Ooh, hello. More gold, excellent. So we're less than a thousand gold away now. Maybe, maybe, probably not, but maybe if I sell some stuff, we'll be able to. I'll work on that once we get out of here. Ooh, very rainy and scary out here, isn't it? 
Oh god, and I'm being assaulted by a horde of mud crabs. Alright lady, I think I'm just gonna swim back on my own. Feel free to follow me, but this is definitely faster. <laughs> now watch as I get back and her door is still locked. Is, is that a little will-o'-the-wisp? I'm- I'm gonna investigate. I'm- I might regret that. Hello, yes it is, it moved. Okay. Hi! Uh, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Thank you for damaging my willpower. And my intelligence. I really appreciated that. <laughs> oh. Now that's okay, because like Teldrin, he doesn't really use them all that much. Personality and my luck are damaged too, though? I should probably sort some of this out. Do I have any potions for that? Okay, there's willpower. Sure. But that's it. Okay. Well, we'll have to sort that out eventually. I can't remember if the shrines cure it actually just been that long. I feel like they probably would. They do in uh, Morrowind. All right, she's still hiding in her house. She's probably gonna get mad at me again for walking into her house, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Hello. Do, do you care? Hello again. Have you had any luck finding the sword and armor? That I did. You found them? Fantastic! I can't tell you what this means to me. Oh, I guess I could take the sword and armor, but I, I don't want them. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Hopefully I'll be able to sell these for enough to pay my debt. You're a lifesaver. Well, now you owe me a debt. Did you give me anything? Well, I guess we'll go then. Maybe the guy will pay me? Oh god, I can't remember. <laughs> he might. He probably does. I hope. Let's uh, sell some stuff real quick. <laughs> These gauntlets at least aren't worth very much. I should probably repair my armor, but that costs money. Ooh. Oh, I'm tempted to sell all the fancy stones. Are you guys gonna be mad at me if I do? I just want a house, okay? I'm we'll come across excellent. more stones. It'll be fine. Watch That's immediately. A... I'll, I'll need one of these, but That's... I'm selling it. Selling the big one too, cause look how close we are now. Okay, maybe, maybe I can sell. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Um, sell Be some seen. stuff to the other store, cause that was just a blacksmith. Maybe I have some things you would buy. Lease. Chain holes. Oh, that's certainly a look. What can I enter? All right, detect life is kind of useful. Um. We do have some rings we can sell. That's good. Oh, yes, sell that one. Okay, we have enough. I'll keep selling stuff I don't need, but I'm gonna go to Anvil after this and we are gonna get our house. Finally, I didn't think we would today, but I'm excited. Yeah, that's Thanks. probably it actually. All right, Bye. let's go. Go ahead and turn this quest in real quick and see what he gives us, if anything, next. But after that, we are definitely going back to Anvil. I hear okay, the here he is, here he is. I can't imagine. I'm already done! finish out the contract with Bienna Amelian in Water's Edge. What's the status? <sighs> hate this green bean looking little man. Got a sword and armor for her, huh? Not bad work, meat. Okay, he does Here's pay me. Right, could remember. How much though? Is it is it good is it a good amount? Ooh, okay, that that's a pretty good amount. Do you have anything else? Nothing now, not at your yeah. rank. All right, back to Anvil anyways. Wait, maybe you can... To speak. can I have an advancement? You're due for advancement. Okay, what about now? I've been told to send you to Coral for some oh. duties. Speak with Orion. Okay, we will do that after we buy our Be house. You. All right, it is time. This is good, because now maybe I won't immediately forget that I left all of that at Cloud Ruler Temple. But I believe to buy the house here, we need to go in here. Should you need something, I will oh be God, happy not again. Please don't eat in front of me. It's too you scary, man. You wouldn't happen to be in the market for a home, would you? If you are, I just happen to be selling a manor located right here in Anvil. Well, as it has it, I am looking for a home. Yes, I'm selling my grandfather's house, Benaris Manor. If you're interested, I could let you have it for a modest sum. I have to sell it soon as I have pressing matters elsewhere. You're welcome to take a look at it. It is located across the street from the chapel. Once you buy, you get the key to the front door and the deed of ownership. That's the deal. Would you like to buy it now? 
Very forward, but sure, I really need a place to put all of my crap. Excellent. Here's the key to the front door and the deed of ownership. I hope you enjoy your new home. Okay. Now, if you'll yes. excuse me, I must attend to those pressing matters I spoke of earlier. Good day. Very urgent. Okay. I wonder what that could all be about. But it's a rather, uh, well, most people would call it a miserable night. I think it's beautiful, but I really wouldn't want to be out in it. So let's go ahead and go to our new home. Oh, here we are. We have a house. My favorite house. Definitely a little bit run down, but that's fine. We can work on that. Please press OK there. I've arrived at my new house in Anvil. Bitterest Manor. Looks like the place may need some work, but it was a great deal. I just couldn't pass up. I can now make myself at home. Okay, let's make that our active quest. Yeah, it's uh, it's rather spooky in here. Okay, okay, gotta say, there's some wine. Probably very vintage now. Ooh, interesting, interesting corn. All right, <laughs> but you know, it was getting pretty. Actually, it's uh pretty early. <laughs> I thought it was getting late, but. Either way, uh, Corellian has had quite the long journey and would, could probably use a nap, you know? I love this house so much. I, I've built it in The Sims before, and pretty much, like, every other time I play through in The Sims, I live in this house, because I just, I love it. I think it has a cool layout. It's a nice-looking house. Let's just take a short nap. I don't even think we went to sleep, did we? But, uh, yeah, we got those. <laughs> Kinda looks like the sort of place that would, to be honest. I'm not surprised, especially because I've done this about 50 million times. What'd you do, man? Come on, that wasn't cool. Made my head go through the wall. That had to hurt. <laughs> Bitterest Manor is haunted. I was awakened by ghosts that attacked me as I slept. As I awoke, I thought I heard a crash from downstairs. I should search the house and investigate. Okay. Well, good job, Corellian. You've managed to buy a haunted house. And, uh, here's the source of the crash. Scrap from Lorgren's diary. I found a skeletal hand next to a page from a diary. The diary makes mention of a secret room in the house that only a true-blooded Binaris can open. I'm going to need to talk to Velwyn about this. I may have to ask around town to find out where he's gone. Ooh, okay, okay. I guess, I guess we can go ahead and read this. Why not? Second of Sun's Dawn, Third Era, 335. The people of Anvil are worms. How dare they criticize what they don't understand. I shall have my vengeance in a form they cannot possibly imagine. I shall use the souls of the departed to prolong my own life. The tomb is a very specific. I must have more bodies. Yes, more bodies. Okay, great. So we got a necromancer lich man. I must protect myself from those meddlers. They shall not interfere in my designs. I have constructed a room in the basement of this manor. It is there I will enter my corporeal self and I will transcend this plane of existence. Only a true-blooded bitterest may open the portal. So if I fail, however unlikely that may be, a descendant may attempt to follow in my footsteps to carry on the true way. To make sure our secret is safe, I have harnessed the spirits of those whose bodies I have defiled to forever guard that place. Great. The fools think I don't hear them speaking. I can hear their rumor and innuendo. They intend to meddle in powers they can barely comprehend. They call me an old fool and shun me. The young dare each other to step one foot in my yard. I have become the stuff of old wives' tales and campfire stories. They dismiss me as an oddity. But soon they will see. When all of Anvil lies in waste around me, when their corpses litter the streets and their blood dampens the earth, only then will my true power be known and feared. What a freaking edgelord. Okay, I'm taking that creepy hand too, and, and we got more ghosts. Hello. Well, thanks, guy, for selling us your creepy ass house. Really appreciate it. <laughs> Still a nice house, though, no regrets. Oh, we should probably get this sorted. Is there still more after me? Where you at? Oh, hi. Oh, okay, thanks. Thanks for that. Oh. Okay, there we go. Well, I guess our best bet would be to uh, ask around the inn again. Okay, what about you? I thought his name was Diddler. <laughs> Didier Omelie, <laughs> Okay, okay, do you know anything about Velwyn? As soon as you bought the place, he pretty much up and left. 
I hear Telly's making his way to the Imperial City. All right. I guess that's good enough for us. Yep. Okay, let's head out then. We know specifically that he's in the Elven Gardens district too. Perfect. Oh, hi. There you I'm are. Surprised to see you all the way out here in the Imperial City. Yeah, about that. <laughs> so, you think I'm responsible? <laughs> I suppose you're right, as the manor used to belong to my grandfather, Lorgren Benaris. I knew there was a curse on that place, which is why I sold it to you so cheap. It's pretty messed up. I suppose I should have warned you, but I had to get out of Anvil. My okay, family said move. I could move here to the Imperial City once all our loose ends were tied down. The manor was one of those loose ends. I fear my own greed got the better of my judgment. I, I hope you weren't hurt badly in that horrible place. No, I mean, I I'm pretty I assume you'd tough. be able to lift the curse and be done with it. Uh, about that, I think I need your help. Lord Grim Benaris was a strange old man, always dabbling and experimenting with magic. He was mostly harmless, until the fateful day he came across a tome bearing the evil magic oh. of necromancy. Lovely. He became obsessed and decided that by using necromancy, he could prolong his own life. The dark arts contained in the tome called for him to dig up the recently deceased in the nearby crypts under the cathedral. Lovely, it was lovely guy. That he did this, the Mage's Guild called for a quick meeting to decide what to do. It only took minutes to decide. Led by a young upstart named Carahill, the Mage's Guild stormed Benaris Manor and slew Lorgren. However, amid the chaos, his body vanished. Great. Because of this, the people of Anvil concluded the manor must be cursed. You are the first person to set foot inside in a long time. You see that guy's face right back there? That was that was how I'm feeling. <laughs> Just listening on this, like, mm. could you help me lift the curse, though? According to the diary entry, it seems that I'm the only one who can open the secret door in the manor. Yeah. And I can't help feeling slightly guilty selling you the place under these circumstances. I'll meet you in Anvil at the Count's Arms. Okay, there we go. That works. From there, we'll try to lift the curse together. Very well. I'll see you when I. Let's head back. Lots of traveling around today. It says he's here. He's not here. Did I beat him back? I'm Is he here? Sure. No, no, he doesn't know. Take care. Okay, maybe I, maybe I did beat him here. I'll wait a few hours. Oh, there he is. I was half expecting you not to show up. Are you ready to go to the manor? I, I literally beat you here. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Let's go. Gotta walk in the middle of this storm. He's just gonna take a nice, casual little stroll. And of course, he walks much faster than I walk. <laughs> I'm just gonna run up there and uh, wait for him. <laughs> Finally, he's here. That took way too long. <laughs> oh, oh, we're we're under attack. Let let me sort that out real quick, guy. You kind of look a little bit squishy. No offense. Should probably. Okay. You lead from here. I might be about to smack him. Oh god. Okay, no good. <laughs> I had clicked right before he talked to me. That was a very risky move, guy. I was literally killing ghosts, but okay. And now I'm stuck, thanks. Thanks, you complete and utter buffoon. You saw nothing. <gasps> I didn't want to turn. Just, just do it. Just do it. Like, he's smiling, too! He feels no remorse over this. Guy! Here's the next. You know what? Just, just go unconscious. <laughs> what just happened there? You think he'll forgive me when he wakes up? Probably not. Maybe he'll just forget this ever happened? You chilled out now? What was that? It actually worked! <laughs> okay, I I guess that works. 
No bounty. Let's go. He, he didn't follow me down here. It may have not worked. May have just messed that up by overriding my autosave, and then I'm gonna have to walk behind the guy that whole time again. <sighs> oh, this game frustrates me sometimes. <laughs> oh no, he, he's there just in time to see me fall over like an idiot. Again. Oh, and, and again. Okay, thanks. Could you get out of the way? Can, can I just like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what an idiot. I'm just gonna let him let him go unconscious again. Oh, he stuck his hands through me. Fucking rude. Okay, there we go. Just be my shield, fool. Is it even doing anything to you? Uh, I guess it is. Okay. Get him out of the way real quick. <laughs> Alright then, I'll go clear out the rest before you run in the way again. Hello. Please die. Oh, yep. We're at the secret door. Well, Okay, no, I guess he is here. Okay, could you sort that out real quick? I know there's a ghost in the way, but I'm kind of scared to hit the ghost because you're probably going to run up. I guess I'm just going to have to do it anyway. Guy, I saw you try to do it! I saw you! Ugh. Idiot. Okay. Are you doing it or are you just caressing the wall? I don't really know. Takes a while, doesn't it? It's getting a little awkward. Just a bit. Okay. <laughs> oh, and there he goes. Okay, well thanks, guy. Thanks for all your help, I guess. Ooh, lovely place. There's the tome. Can I look at that? Really tells you a lot, doesn't it? Ooh, torture tools. Mm-hmm. Alright, uh, hi, how are you? I am Lurgrin Menorus, and I desire the chance to atone for my sins. The things I've done to the people of Anvil, the horrible, unspeakable acts I've committed, demand repentance. Mm. Was justified in his actions. Slaying me was the only way to stop the madness. I have accepted that fate. No, so I may make my final peace with the nine. Please rejoin my hand to my body. Only then, when I am complete. This eternal nightmare end. Something tells me about your spooky voice. Your spooky undead lich voice. That, uh, you, you don't mean that, but sure, here you go. Or not. It never there. fails to amuse me how easy mortal man is to manipulate. Didn't really manipulate me, but okay. Completing <laughs> the very thing Carrie Hill and his cabal sought to prevent all those years ago. My ascension to immortality. Last time I clashed with mortals, I underestimated. Actually, I was gonna switch weapons. The other one might not actually work on him. Never mind. I shall not repeat that mistake twice. Sure. Okay, I yeah. Fight me. Okay. Sounds like a great idea. <laughs> If my other one would work on you, but this is working just fine, and you kind of suck, so goodbye. <laughs> Completing the skeleton was a ruse! I never would have guessed. And Lorgren rose from the dead. I had no choice but to destroy him. With his destruction, the curse of Benarus Manor was lifted. I should return to the Count's arms and speak to Velwyn. Alright. Yeah, sure, I'll take that. Not, I don't want your bone meal, though. Ooh, he's kind of jiggly. <laughs> I'm kind of uncomfortable. Oh, now I can start my skull collection! Yes! That's usually what I do once I get this place. For some reason, I just like collecting skulls. And I always just put them in here. Until one of my uh, future elves is lucky enough to get to discover Corellian's collection. They enjoyed that one. But that is a tale for another time. Man, Corellian is probably the most 
off-putting <laughs> of all of my elves. That's probably the best way to phrase it. Because, like, we have Gonir. Yeah, he's a murderer. Yeah, he's really weird. But it doesn't even... Oh, by the way, the house is all fixed up. <laughs> Just gonna kind of stroll past that. But yeah, it's fixed up now. But I don't think uh, Gonir even comes close to Corellian, to be honest. Corellian? Just a full-on freak. Let's not forget how he wound up in the Imperial City prisons. Not really that weird for wood elves, I guess, but still unsettling. Especially uh, followed by the fact that Corellian goes on to collect skulls. And I think I think a good portion of us know how his story ends, so... Okay! Hi there. Uh, uh, what is it now? I don't want to interrupt this. I saw a mud crab a couple of days Yeah, I, I cannot <laughs> interrupt this vital conversation. I can't stand the sight of those creatures. How do you do? Uh, no, I don't want to talk Sorry to you. Sorry <laughs> for running away like that, but fear got the best of me. Eh, you know, not everyone I'm can be as courageous as I am. Now that the curse has been lifted, I feel like I've taken care of my family's unfinished business. Excellent work, my friend. May the manor give you many years of happiness. I'm now off to the Imperial City once more. Farewell. All right. But yeah, guys, I do think that's where I'm going to go ahead and leave this episode. In the next one, we will, of course, be getting back into the Fighters Guild. Not that we spent that long away from it. <laughs> Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.